Hey guys, what is up? I wanted to come on here and do a quick luxury haul for you guys. I start with the first thing, which is a robe. Y'all know I'm a big robe person. I love robes. These were sold out after I had already bought them and they refunded me my money. I, I always get these sets from Saks. They're regularly, I want to say this top is probably regularly like $390 or something like that, but I think I got it for $70. Or something and let me just show you how it looks um, i just have it on with a pair of skims pants this is called the wine color i mean this color is absolutely beautiful and yes the second thing that i've gotten over these past few weeks is this saint laurent shirt and i did get this shirt in a small if i could go back i probably would get this shirt in a medium i don't know because i have a feeling that they make it a little bit shorter on purpose and even if i got the medium it might still be shorter but then the arm part will be bigger and of course i'm going to do a cutaway to me actually wearing the shirt but the shirt is fine and um it's super cute it'll look cute matter of fact i'm probably gonna wear this shirt today okay my next two items are knit sets they're not actually sets but i bought them to wear sets because i love wearing knit sets i just love wearing sets in general because it's easy to throw them together but i love a knit set absolutely love so i bought this givenchy shirt and i bought this directly from the givenchy website because i hadn't seen this long sleeve shirt and i'll do a cutaway because it looks like you can kind of see through it but once you put it on it's not really see-through like that um so i bought this shirt and I bought the shirt in a size small, more than likely. Um, in a small. That's my son running around. I don't know what he's doing. He's playing this game, but I guess he went downstairs for something. Anyway, I bought this shirt in a size small. And I bought this shirt because I had ordered this skirt. Um, and once I saw the shirt, I didn't, I hadn't been able to, I was just like, I'll wear it with any black shirt. But I bought this, um, it's like a tennis skirt from Givenchy. And, um, and I'll cut away to what it looks like. It also has that same kind of see-through fabric. I also bought this from Selfridges because it ended up being like $150 cheaper um, than buying it from any place in the U.S. So, yeah, I ordered it online and it came within a few days. And that is, and I'm going to wear it as a set and I can also wear it as separate. So, I absolutely love tennis skirts from when I was a kid. I always love wearing little tennis skirts. And, um, yeah, this skirt is absolutely just gorgeous. The next set I bought, and I'm going to insert here because I've already worn this, is this Tory Burch knit set. I bought the top. I don't know where I bought it from, but I know I mixed it up. I know I bought one piece from the Tory Burch website. I want to say the skirt, and I got it in an extra small from the Tory Burch website. And this skirt is absolutely beautiful. It is a little bit heavy, but it's it's like medium weight. So in the summertime, you can wear it. It's real breezy. It's real easy. Um, like I said, I've already worn it, so I'm going to insert here when I had it on. And it's a very long skirt. It comes all the way down to like uh, your right before your ankle starts. And it, this outfit is just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. The last clothing item, I got this top from, I want to say Intermix. Y'all know I love to show my collarbones. I love an off-the-shoulder top. Oh, no, I got this from Moda Operandi. Moda Operandi. Um, and this is a shirt. It's in a baby pink. A very light, 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 light pink. And like a light blush, light pink. And it's from a company called Aisler, 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 or Ackler, Ackler, um, Ackler or Aisler. It's an off the shoulder top. I'll cut away and show you exactly what it looks like. And this top is absolutely beautiful. It's made out of a jersey material. I used to have something similar from um, uh, Kamali. 
but that just got so nicked up so quick so i wanted a different material um it's a kamali shirt that i got from i can't remember her first name but her last name is kamali and they sell it on revolve okay the next item i got is a pair of sunglasses the doctor has been telling me like i need to wear sunglasses like it's been a big thing i i'm not a sunglass wearer at all um so i broke down and i bought a pair that i think i like but these are this is the number of the sunglasses they're from prada they come in this huge case they come with a little um, paper and a little like thing to wipe them down with So hopefully they are cute and worn. I mean, I like them. I like that they weren't plastic on the side. I mean, not that I have a big problem with the glasses with glasses being plastic on the side, but I'd rather um, cause I wanted some Dior ones that had something plastic on the side, but they they didn't have them. I ordered them once, and then they sent me a pair that wasn't what I ordered. So yeah. So these are not too dark. Definitely not too light. And I think they look cute on one, so these are the glasses I'll be wearing. They say Prada right on the side, very discreetly. And I think they also say it somewhere on the glass. Yeah, I think they say it right here in the corner, like in itch, very discreetly. In the glass, you can kind of see it there. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, I would prefer them not have these little things here, the nose. Um, I like a, I like a glasses with it just built into it, but whatever. I mean, these are fine. Okay, one more robe, one more robe. That I, I've already washed this robe, so yeah. But I bought the pink on pink Versace robe. Um, I'll insert me unboxing it. I did an uh, a unboxing, but I don't think that I ever um, posted it to my channel. Um, but yeah, I bought the pink on um, pink. I've seen people with the pink, with the gold and the pink, and I washed it. So it, this probably needs to be um, ironed out. I don't know if I ever iron it out as a robe, so it's going to be bunched up around my waist anyway. So it's all right. Um, but yeah, this robe is absolutely beautiful. It is, in comparison to my Dior robe, it is shorter. Uh, but my Dior robe is, I think, a men's robe. I think all these are men's robe, though, because I think this is a men's robe also. Um, I got this in a size small. Uh, my Dior robe is also in a small, but they're not comparable. This robe was only maybe five ninety or something like that. My Dior robe was like two thousand dollars, but that Dior robe is like four times heavier than this robe. Um, yeah, they're they're really not comparable at all. Um, yeah, so I like the lightness of this robe, and this robe is just absolutely beautiful. Like if I'm getting ready to go somewhere, this is perfect. Like I said, it's a much lighter robe, thinner robe. So it's not as thick as my Dior robe, but it's not like thin by any means. Um, it's just thinner than my Dior robe. I think second to, the, second to the last item, the last item I got is this Valentino belt. Now I got this belt because I used to have a fossil belt that looked just like this, but I gave it to my daughter. And this belt is two-sided. I absolutely love, 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 love this belt. And it looks just like my old fossil belt. So let me show you what it looks like. I, I ordered this directly from Valentino. I got this belt in a size, did I get it in a size 70? I got it in a size 70, I think. Yes, this is a 70. And, um, yeah, 70 slash 28. Because I wear a 27, 26. And so that's why I ended up getting a 70 slash 28. I don't know. I'm thinking I, maybe I should have got... My robe keep opening up on me. Maybe I should have gotten a um, 
and I'll do a video styling this belt up for you all. Maybe I should have gotten a one size up, but I like my belts to fit and maybe I, should, I shouldn't have got a size up because this belt fits perfect. And I love the texture and I love the coloring. Like I said, this belt looks exactly like a fossil belt that I used to own. Let me tell you the color of this belt. And I, I really haven't seen anybody online with this particular color. Most people have like the solid smooth brown. I'm gonna show you in a second that this belt is textured. So um, that's one thing that I really loved about it. Like I said, when I saw it, I was like, okay, this looks exactly like, you see? This is a textured belt. And of course it has the smooth dark brown side um, on the other side. But most people have the double smooth sides and I just wanted one that was more casual like my fossil belt. And this belt is just absolutely gorgeous. And I like to wear it where you don't see any holes. So I put it in the third hole and it goes on very easy, you just snap it in. And that is the belt. That's if I'm wearing it with high-waisted jeans, it would be right here. Now, if I'm wearing it with low-rise, which I do not wear low-rise, I only wear high-waisted jeans, um, I guess it would be further down and you would see more of the, um, you would see the holes more but I'm a true high-waisted jean wearer. And yeah, I wanted to make sure you weren't able to see any of the holes. Like I would prefer not. Even if I'm wearing it on a dress, it would probably be in this same roundabout area and I could still push it down. I mean, I have a very tiny waist, so it's not like, um, my waist is probably like a 26 or something like that. And like I said, this belt is a 28. So yeah, absolutely love Love, love, love this belt. Love it. And it is reversible, like I said, to the dark brown side. But I doubt if I ever really reverse it because I bought it for this double two-tone brown side where I can wear it with light browns and dark browns and it'll go. And it has that brass colored gold uh, Valentino sign. This belt is absolutely beautiful. And the last thing that I got is a pair of shoes, um, which are these Gia RHW shoes. And I wanna say I got these from Saks also. I'll show you a cutaway of what they look like. I absolutely cannot stand this square toed shoe, but I bought these because of the color. I love the cut, like a wine kind of color on my skin tone. Um, and I love like a red shoe, a wine shoe. Uh, that's really the only other colored shoe that I like. I don't really care for a black shoe unless it's a black pump. I broke down and bought those black Louis Vuitton sandals, which I've been getting a lot of wear out of. Um, or a black strappy shoe. Um, and then all the rest of my shoes are kind of like nudes or browns, something like that. But um, a colored shoe, I will buy a red shoe. And I was kind of turned off by how ducky like, that's the reason why I don't care for the, the square toed shoes that much because they're so duck looking. But these are not bad. When you get them on your foot, they're actually very pretty. And I'll show you a cutaway of exactly what they look like. So yeah, and I got these on sale. They're all of these, every single pair of these are on sale or they were on sale for like a hundred and something dollars. Cause I think they're regularly like six something or seven something, I don't know. but. They were on sale in every single color. So I got this wine color because I love this color. And they have this very um, odd type heel. I do not like wedges. So it's not really a wedge heel, but it's not even gonna feel like a wedge because it doesn't give you that kind of wedge support at all. But yeah, but these shoes are, are gorgeous. When I put them on, they were nice. They weren't as ducky as they look just looking at the shoe. And yeah. So, okay, guys, that is it for my designer haul.